tonight needs no introduction. Get your story. My name is Elliot. Um, I'm Sagan's efforts here to kind of see what we can capture. My name is Austin. I'm Trevor. I'm Chaz. My name is Armand. I am Kyle. And I am Caleb. Maybe tug on our jackets a little bit. Give us a, a little light push or tug on the arm. That was that way. Because that's the game. Make that sound. That was that way. That was yeah, that was that way. Make that sound again. Can you make a knock sound or a whistle? Let us know you're here. Be a man. Show yourself. Oh, I heard that, dude. Do it again. Dude, I swear I heard a footstep in here. Did you hear that? So everybody's name is in a hat. That's going to determine what group you're in and who's going. All right, now we've got four locations that each group is going to choose from. We've got D block, we've got the hole, we've got the hell hole, which is on the third floor, and then we've got the gym. D block. D block. You got the gym. The hole. We'll do the uh, oh. Yeah, this is it. This is the gym. That's so crazy. So right up there, I think, is where they have the guards. Because yeah. that's just like an empty spot to watch over the gym. If anyone's here, can you make a sound? Anybody in the gym with us? We knew there's some riots in here. Were you hurt in that riot? Oh, yeah. Cat toys going off. So I was just telling Chaz, it's difficult to kind of feel the gravity of the history that actually happened in some of these places we visit because we go to so many of them that it's a little bit numbing. It kind of it takes you out of it and it's harder to really get yourself in there. But I mean, the place that we're walking around now has so much history, negative history especially. Okay, so right now, I am turning on the spirit box. If there's anybody with us in this hallway or in this building, if you could please communicate through this device, through these radio waves. Red? Yeah, make the red light go off. No. Why not? Hello. Hey. Inmate. Yeah, I know you got roommates here. Here. Devil. In here? Dead. You dead? Do you realize that you're dead? Worse. There's a cat toy going out. Make it roll around a little bit. It'd be pretty cool. <laughs> Thank you. So I'm not sure if you heard us earlier when we were in the cafeteria, but my name is Sabian. My name is Elliot. And we're here to just talk with you and sit in this area. You know, this is our first time here. Thank you for communicating with the Red Pod. Can you come up to this camera, please? You have to come kind of close so we can see you. What do you think of so many people coming in here? The place where you've had to spend so many bad days. Can you make a sound? Can you show yourself on here again? If that was any, if that was a spirit, can you do that again, please? You want to stay? Bye. Yeah, the thing goes off every time we try to leave. Let's just let it go. We have just entered the building of the hole. Attached to it as well as the laundry room, where many of the inmates obviously would do work around 
the prison, but it is also in the basement of this building, is the solitary confinement hole. We know that 10,000 people died here at this jail. We want to talk to at least one of you, so use this device. Is there anybody in this room with us? You okay? Trevor, did you say Trevor's name? Did you die here at Brushy Mountain Prison? Watch out. Watch out. Do you want us to leave you alone? Follow. So among the many prisoners, the tens of thousands of prisoners that had come through Brushy Mountain State Penitentiary, the man who actually assassinated Martin Luther King, James Earl Gray, was imprisoned here. Dude, I hear talking. That's what I, that's what I thought I heard too. I hear music. Yes, I hear music and talking. Well, let's find out why. No way. Armand and Caleb decided to leave the hole so Austin and Kyle could give it a try. Dude, my light won't turn back on. I swear to God. Do you hear that? Is that music? Is someone playing music? Music is what we heard. Dude, it sounds just like a, like almost like an organ or something. That motion light just came on. Oh, the motion light just came on. Yeah, that was not the No, we were not near it. How long do you want to get, go for it? Oh, I don't know. A few minutes. Okay. I'm gonna, go. I'm gonna handcuff myself. All right, taking the key. All right. I'll give you a few minutes. You good? Yeah. Say what? I swear I heard like I sat here in the dark and I heard a little breathing or something. Like it just oh, it wasn't shit. like an ominous breathing, but it was like uh somebody breathing. Oh shit. Yeah, it was weird. That's not like walking. That sounds like it's changing distances on Yeah. Is somebody walking up there? That sounds like footsteps on this. Who's up here? Is somebody walking with us? Can you come can you come over here please? That sounds so much closer. Can you make a sound if you Did somebody do that? I mean that could have just popped off, but. Hey, if there's anybody here, can you go close to those blue lights on the floor? Dude, I swear I heard it mimic you. Hey, if you're in here, make one of these devices go off. Touch a cat toy. It's just crazy to think that like, over 10,000 people died here and nobody can talk to us. <gasps> the cat toy. <laughs> right when I said that. I have the handcuffs. We're gonna be a little dramatic handcuff Trevor in the center of the gymnasium. Is there anybody in here with me? I can't move, so you have me here until they come back. I heard how awful the living conditions were. Are you to my right? The Bible says the kingdom of heaven will destroy the gates of hell. And that's what this place has been called. You can't fight it, you can't resist it forever. Is this place a place of darkness? The darkness won't last forever. I'm feeling lightheaded. Is that you? No, I just heard like a weird sound though outside maybe. It almost sounded like woo woo woo. Is 
there's any spirits here with me right now, can you make your presence known? I've handcuffed myself to this cell. Caleb, can you come down here? Yeah, I got you. Everything good? Yeah, it just got pretty uncomfortable pretty quick. So right now we have moved to outside in the courtyard at 3 o'clock in the morning to see if we could get anything on the Estes method with Kyle. Jazz. Jazz? Revenge. Did you get revenge on somebody here? Carnage. Revenge? Carnage? Tired. Just, we're, we're not going to be Fire. here. We're not going to be here much longer. Use your energy. I know you're tired. Spirit. Does that make any sense? A lot of it seemed to. You can tug on us under our clothes, poke us. Did that just go off? It did. It did. He hasn't moved. I haven't moved. So my name's Jazz. If you'd like to talk to me, please use this device in my hand. Can I just again? No way. We're trying to help you. How, how, what can we do to help you? Someone here with us? Were you put in here in one of these cells? Six. Were there six people down here? Is that what you're saying to us? Or is that how long we spent down here? Set. Could you get a little closer to the end? Can I I have. God? Are you searching for God in the hole? Oh. We've picked up a lot more activity throughout the night. We're going to leave the spirit box going with the iPad and see if we can hear anything when we come back. All right, Caleb and I are going to sit here for a while. Just hang out in, in D block. There's a red light on the ground. There's also a little ball right here that if you touch it, lights up. Sure, your time here was tough. Can you just tell us about it? We'd like to ask you some questions. All you gotta do is just beat down on the floor. Were you guilty of the crime that sent you here? Really bad. Is that noise? We're not here to, to hurt you. Is it going on? Yeah, it's a vacant. It's a temperature gauge. Is it blue? It's red. I mean, it's getting hotter. Just one beep. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Thank you. Can you step away from that, please? Thank you. Wow. Can you step away? Oh my God. Damn. If you like us to move, can you can you set that red light off again? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's a sign. Thank you. Allegedly, it's a very dark energy in here, so we're here to find out what's going on. I'm going to turn the spirit box on. I know you've seen this before. 100%. Can you say one of our names? How many are here with us tonight? Ten? Do we have bad energy? Who? Say your name. Some of this does work. Yeah. I swear, it's just, it, it just it did. It literally just pulled on my flesh here. Like, like, uh, did you just touch Kayla? Boy. Boy, are you mad at Kayla? Get out. Get out. Go. 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 So we're going to pause right now. Uh, in case had, you, you're not able to hear it, the spear box has said Caleb's name twice now. It said boy. It said get out. Then we said that somebody have a bad attitude, and that's when it said Caleb. So we were getting kind of these... Messages that made us think maybe it doesn't love Caleb. So he's going to leave the room right now, and we're going to see what, what do you happens. Think it has anything to do with you calling it out? Calling it out and discrediting the activity mm -hmm. I think that it did for a moment. I think it could. I've definitely been combative tonight on purpose just to see if, to test a theory if maybe if the entities are used to being spoken to like that. Aggressive. Yeah, aggressively. Caleb has left the room. He's going to a whole other building. Will you talk to us? Are you here? Tell us. 
Do you guys feel that right here? Yeah, it's literally. Right. It's cold right here. It's it just it just got yeah. cold, dude. I feel it moving around right here. You want somebody to walk forward into the next room? <laughs> down my back. Will somebody look at my back? I'm not touching it. Yo. You have a, you have a scratch. <laughs> no, I don't. Yeah, shit, you not? Did you touch your back? I went like this, and I thought maybe like a dude. bird fell. I did put my hand. Stop in my moving. Shirt. Stop moving. Look at this, dude. Dude, dude, look, look, look. I shit you not, hey guys. Is that prison? See if I could reach it. There you go. See if I could reach it. You yeah, definitely I mean, can. No, well, don't do it over it. What do you mean? I'm freaking out. This was this was a separate ghost Sorry. box okay. that I had in my pocket. It just turned on. Dude. I just don't want us to get too worked up. Oh, nah, that's all good. I'm saying let's let's let's. You want to go back breath. to home base? All right, let's head yeah, back there for a right. second. I'll head back that's, with you. Yeah. I did touch my back, but I don't think no, I no, scratched yeah, my yeah, back. Yeah, it felt risen. Did did the, did my scratching of my fingers after leave marks? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, yeah but it looks oh, okay. different. Maybe. The one that's down your back is like a straight line, like a thumb, like a nail. Yeah. Look at my nails. Look at my nails. I clipped them yesterday. Oh, yeah. I don't have any nails on my finger. Look. As the night winded down, everybody split up into two groups to do a double Estes method. Could you please speak with my friend here? <gasps> Thank you. Thank you. That's how you want to communicate. That's perfectly fine. Do you not want to talk to us? No. Are you in here with us? You, why? Oh my God. All right, so we are doing an Estes method. He has noise canceling headphones on and cannot hear us. Trevor's a prick. He can't hear. <laughs> Can you tell us your name or one of our names? Here. Do you have a cellmate too? He does. If you want us to leave. No. Are you not able to communicate with us because someone else is with you? Are you afraid of us? Yeah. Are not. We just asked if it was afraid of us and Trevor said yes. Dale? Do you think we're doubting that you're real or? We think you're real. We, we know you're real in fact. Just show us, show us that you're here. He did or you did? Hey. What's up? Are we talking to the same person? That Ray. We... Did I just die? It just went really quiet. I heard it. You guys are going to be communicating with Austin. This is his first time. You're going to have to speak very... Just? Well. Yeah, just his first time. Yeah. Hey, hi. How's it going? You guys get any names or Greg? Greg? John. John. Come. Where do you want us to go? Can you say one of our names? We know a couple of yours. Eight. eight. There's eight of us. people us. here. There's eight of us here. Three, maybe? Is your name have three letters, or? Yes. Oh. Can you tell us one of the letters? N, or end? I asked what was one of the letters in your name. Yeah, N. Yes. As the night winds down, Trevor decided to go outside alone in the caged jails. That is crazy. These vines that have grown. Trying to keep an eye out for birds and bats. What the? What is that? You can see where somebody was maybe counting the days? Obviously a little more scary when you're alone in here. Thought about crawling through this before because we didn't know how to get in here. Very glad I didn't. So 23 hours of the day, inmates were in those confined cells that Chaz and I were looking at. But these outdoor solitary confined cells, this is where prisoners were able to get some exercise. At this point, the rest of the guys caught up with Trevor to do one last REM pod session. If there's anybody out here with us, could you please touch that red light on the ground? Can you step away? Can you make that stop? I don't feel yeah. wind with these walls. No, not at all. Can you make that stop, please? Just step away from it. What was that? That was behind us. 
Is there anyone out here with us? Can you make uh, that red light go off? What's up, my boy? <laughs> yes, 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 yes. <laughs> if you would like us to leave, can you make that stop? Uh, that's pretty convincing. Okay. With the night coming to an end, it was time to review the camera and spirit box that we left in the hole. We left the device rolling for two hours, and the only voice we got through the spirit box said this. <laughs> However, not only did our motion light go off, but our cameras caught a weird light reflection pop up on the walls. But probably the most compelling thing caught is the sound of whispers when nobody is in the building. 